Welcome back guys, Zach Man with a little video update on Tron TRX. So here's the deal. It's over with. Everything's done. Well, of course, my time zone is probably done, but uh, Summit's pretty much wrapping up here. Uh, if you look at Tron on the daily chart here, we can kind of see again, we're just kind of staying level. So nothing, not too much uh, drastic moves. Uh, if you look at the 60 minute chart here, we're kind of hovering against this uh, support line right here. We're not really going low, it's kind of up. Low, level, a little bit lower. So we did get a lower high, which is not very positive. Um, the, obviously right here's the high. Um, you zoom out here, so you kind of see what I'm talking about. So uh, right here's the resistant line. Now we have another resistant line right here, but uh, basically, like I said, we had a, a, the high right here, high right here. So we had a higher high and then a higher high there. And then this is a lower high from this high and that high. But uh, so we got um, the high here and we got a lower high. And then obviously we got a lower, that's actually pretty level there. So if we see a lower, lower, if this one closes below uh, this uh, support line right here, um, you, we can probably see a little bit of a down trend. That's a little sell off coming. How far it goes, I'm not sure. Cause obviously it's really not, uh, I guess it would probably could take this. would be the next support line from the last low which would be this guy and then obviously the next one would be from down here so that's kind of the support we're looking at as of right now so right now you know if, but we could bounce like i said we'll see what happens um starting next week i don't think there's gonna be too much moves going on over the weekend you know maybe a little sell off but we'll kind of see what happens hopefully uh some positive things were taken and i'm sure they'll have a big summary coming up um after today, you know, possibly Monday or something like that of everything that took place over the weekend or over the last two days. But uh, if you look at Bitcoin, again, that's kind of the same thing. We're still uh, kind of bouncing around here. No drastic moves yet on that. Everything's kind of, everything's quiet. Um, obviously, with the government shut down and everything like that, the ETF thing is going to pretty much be on hold for Bitcoin on that. Uh, if we go to the cryptocurrency, Tron is still ranked number nine. So, like I said, pretty much everything's really quiet. So, nothing... Nothing's going really big right now, but uh, quick little things uh, from today anyways. Uh, the founder, Justin Sun, talked about um, adding more uh, dApps. He wants to, he thinks he envisions about 2,000 uh, just this year, um, you know, a minimum of 2,000 more dApps being created on the ecosystem. So uh, that's pretty positive. Obviously, you know, more dApps, more usage, you know, maybe that'll kind of raise the value a little bit there. Um, obviously, the big plans for Tron. Uh, if we kind of talk about that, let me scroll back up here. So he's got some big plans coming um, that he envisions. So basically, uh, the Tron CEO, Justin Sun, says he wants uh, to become the first cryptocurrency people uh, will think of while working on its dApps and ecosystem and leverage of uh, the BitTorrent. Uh, huge customer base. Tron is also ex expanding its services to corporate clients. Um, so he's got big visions. Obviously, you know, it was... It was in the Bloomberg uh, article they kind of talked about it as well. Uh, he wants TR to be the first cryptocurrency that comes into people's mind when they think of crypto. Uh, the first cryptocurrency um, that we think of. Uh, not just this, he further, he further clarified. What's in his mind for Tron's future, he said. Uh, we want to become the most famous brand in the world, basically. He wants Tron to be recognized all over the world, uh, which is pretty cool. So a lot of people have wrote off Tron as a... All hype, marketing, and uh, no substance, but they made a lot of uh, noise with the BitTorrent uh, accusation. So we did have uh, that, which is pretty positive. And now I think it's uh, an open question of whether they will be one of the crypto's most high-profile uh, fake-it-till-you-make-it success stories. So like I said, there's uh, some positive things coming out, Tron. Like I said, I know there's uh, a bunch of uh, games that uh, were being released for the DAPT, you know, um, kind of like those, you know, which a lot of people do play those games and they spend money like you know like obviously there's facebook had that big farmville thing where people are you know spending money to buy these little packages and bundles and stuff like that well pretty much the same thing except for you have to use the trx token um to uh purchase that stuff so and then obviously the live streaming coming to BitTorrent once they uh launch the btt which i did find out on crap i thought i had the article but uh let me find it real quick here uh they actually made a date, so when the, I think it's January 28th is when uh, they plan on launching the or on Binance Launchpad. Um, 
to release the yeah. BTG coin. And I think there's like almost a trillion tokens, I believe, that are the supply. Let me. Come on. I got a bunch of videos slowing it down. BTT token. Airdrop. Or launch date. Let's try that launch date. I just want to make sure before I uh, say it, but I'm pretty sure. Yep. Uh, we'll begin on January 28th uh, for the uh, for Binance uh, launch pad. Uh, obviously, if you're a U.S. person, you can't. Uh, if you're in the U.S. or a U.S. resident that lives in the U.S., you will not be able to purchase it, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, token supply is 990 billion. Uh, so pretty much a trillion. Let's just go out the trillion on that one. Uh, total tokens that will actually be on the Binance launch pad will be 59 billion, 400 million. So that's how much there. Uh, Public uh, token sale of one BTT equals, it'll be right around, well, 0. 0.00012 would be the price uh, that will be set on the day of the launch. The session time will begin at 3 p.m. Uh, on January 28th, uh, and it'll end on uh, February 3rd of 2019. So it's going to be a little short sale going on, but token uh, sale format first come, first serve. Uh, the individual cap per person is 20,000, equivalent to that. Uh, so that's just kind of the news on that. So uh, it's a seven-day token sale, basically. So that's on uh, uh, the Binance Launchpad. That's on that's happening on. So, All right, guys. Uh, that's pretty much what I got. Hopefully, uh, we'll start getting some more uh, news and stuff uh, popping up here in the next few days. And then uh, kind of do a quick little summary. But other than that, guys, have a great weekend, and we'll see you Monday.